Hello, you lovely people. It's been a while since I created my last video, a couple of weeks. Uh, sorry about that, I've been busy working on something very awesome, very cool, very exciting, which is an RPG course and game at the same time. It's a game that we're making in Unity, and we've just yesterday launched it on Udemy. Udemy.com, links below if you're interested in that stuff. We're going through the whole process of making a Diablo-style fixed camera action RPG. It's very exciting. Loving it, enjoying it a lot. And because uh, we launched yesterday, I've got a chance to take a little bit of a breather and show you guys something that I've been tinkering with, prototype level, getting distances and spacing and, and run-throughs and enemy placement, getting that stuff right before we start to lock things in, you know, lock in placement of buildings and assets. And, and the level's been pretty ugly, you know, very placeholder. Let me show it to you guys, actually. So this is how the level's been looking recently, just as I've been trying to work out this over here, I put reference images into the scene. I, I think that's a really cool way of staying focused on. This was a sketch that I made over here. I've been finessing, spending a lot of time trying to finesse these ramps and getting a good view of the town as you come running in. But mostly this moment here, it's gonna be a quest giver moment. How much time do I need to spend wrapping around there so that the player has a good amount of time to see the quest giver, have a little bit of combat. These red dots on the ground I put as combat to say combat goes here. And as you know, it's really important to get everything lined up correctly. <laughs> More notes on the ground over here. Get it lined up correctly before you start to lock it in. For me now, I think I've got my, my placement and stuff locked down. Pretty happy with that. I found myself continuing to work on functional type things. I need to make this bridge functional. I need to make sure that the nav mesh is working, all that kind of stuff and functional, functional, and really kind of sort of semi-inspired by my level, but not super inspired, semi-inspired. This is very placeholder, you know, there's not textures on the buildings. I haven't gone and got the proper textured buildings from our artist. And, uh, you know, if you're using an asset pack, then similar thing, are you using proper final ones? You haven't looked, you know, looking perfect in the right place or using placeholder, use placeholder for as long as you can, because then it's easy to just like, you know, these buildings need to be a little bit lower so the camera doesn't get clipped. So I just bloop, put them into the ground, doesn't really break anything. I can scale as much as I want. It's all cool. So, uh, but at some point, I need to show this to people. I need to say, here's what my game's looking like. What do you think? Can you do a run through of my game and tell me how it's going? I need to put a, a video up online on, on Facebook or Reddit or on, on my uh, developer diary and say, hey, here's where we're at at the moment. And this looks, you know, this is placeholder -y. People are going to judge it for why have you written tavern against a tavern? Why doesn't it look like a tavern? And what I found works for me is around about every week or so, maybe every two weeks, depending on how much crunch is going on, but every week or so to spend two to three hours, if you're working full time on this, if you're working part time, it might be one hour, but spend at least you know a good amount of time, half a day, to go in and make things look presentable to players. And that might be a little bit contrary to where you're at in your project. Typically you want to prototype and you know gray box, just have it going along and, and all about the feel and the mechanics and we've got so so much to do in terms of the features and the mechanics and the code but just to stop and have something that's presentable because you need to be getting feedback on your game you need to be uh, getting people interested in your game you need to be getting people excited about it and no matter how purist we want to be as designers and I'm a very purist designer that's how I see myself people are going to judge on does the game feel the way I need it to feel if you're creating an experience, which I talk about a lot, player experience, then the look and the feel and the aesthetics and the audio, these things play a part. So it's a real juggling act, right? When you're indie, it's how much time do you put in this, how much time do you put in that? Here's what I'm finding is one week of hardcore slog, making everything work and, and features and tuning and, and numbers and placement and stuff. And within that one week is the two or three hours of going and doing a little bit of finesse is what I'm saying. So let me show you what I've been finessing. So I'll jump to my other point in time on this project. So this is the same level, the same layout. I've just gone and put in grass. I've dropped in enemies. You can see the, the buildings are updated with the new texture ones. I've still got my old ramps in there. And I've just kind of dropped trees around. I've tweaked the lighting a little bit and put in a windmill. And let me just play this for you. The animations are placeholder -y still. The characters are, are being worked on. It's all early days, right? I'm prototyping. But I'm prototyping and I'm starting to get something that's playable. I can go up and hit these guys and stuff. It all looks a bit wacky, but 
for me, I've gone and focused on putting some polish into the world, some grass and, and putting in some of the props, just placing, which takes time and they might move. It not, might not be in exactly the right spot, just my bench there. But for me, and here's the main point I wanna make for what I'm up to at the moment, is that I'm feeling really good about this level myself. And I can go in there, I'm like, ah, progress. I can see progress. I can show it to people and, and they're not looking at it saying, oh, why are the houses all white? They're like, oh, okay, I, I see what this game is supposed to be. And I can, I can spend just two minutes playing with the lighting and be like, okay, I want this game to feel like it's, or this moment to feel like it's sunset, you know, it, later on in the evening. And just a little bit of tweaking with that, maybe throw in a couple of lights around the houses just in the scene. So. And, and what I'm saying is, is don't leave that until the very end. I've made this point in a few videos now. Don't leave it till the very end, because then you have this game that's like blah, blah, not blah, blah, but it's blah for a long time, it's blah. So it takes some time to put in textures and to, to tweak the animation and particles, which I've talked about a bunch, I love particles in there, is to go and do that for marketing and it's for having your promo videos, but it's also for you. It's gonna keep you inspired. If you see some visual progress, as I've seen in my level here, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting stuff done, man. This is progress. So it feels good. Points that I make a lot for you guys are player experience. Make sure you're focusing on the experience. My experience in the game that I'm working on here, I'm trying to make it a, a funny, comical, amusing type game. Now that I'm starting to get more more polish into the level, even though the game has so far to go with mechanics and with art and tons of levels and story, all that kind of stuff, I can go in there and tweak a couple of things and say, does that make the game feel a bit funny? Does that make the game feel a bit amusing, a bit interesting? And also love creating the course and the videos. So just a, a little bit of a plug for that. I know some of you guys have been asking about it and following, when's the RPG launching? When's the RPG launching? The cool thing is the RPG is now launched. For those of you guys who watch my videos and give me lots of thumbs up, someone said recently uh, to me a comment which I was really excited about, Rick, no one no one dislikes your videos. And, and that means a lot to me. It's really cool. Although now that I've said that, people are gonna be like, I'm just gonna dislike it just so he gets some dislikes. But I appreciate it and I'm super thankful for you guys for your comments for watching the videos for supporting me and and participating youtube is something you know the videos i do on youtube i do it for you guys just because i love doing it and i love seeing you guys progress working on your own dreams when you do make progress let me know when good stuff happens let me know when you launch your game let me know because this journey that we're on of making games of being part of the the video game community of making our own indie games it's I think we're all in it together as a community. And I love seeing when you guys are fulfilling your dream of getting a game launched and have people playing your game and being excited just by getting your hands dirty, making games and being part of that process. So thank you to you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you come join me in the RPG course. I'd love to see you there and I will see you in the next video.